Hello and welcome to Beyond Borders Briefing. Today, we are going to talk about the U.S. decision to send controversial weapons to Ukraine as part of more than $1 billion in military and humanitarian aid. The announcement was made during Secretary of State Antony Blinken's visit to Kiev on September 6. The U.S. said it would equip Ukrainian forces with 120mm depleted uranium tank rounds, which can pierce conventional tank armor. These rounds are for the U.S.-made Abrams M1 tanks, which are due to be delivered to Ukraine later this year. Depleted uranium is a waste product from the process of enriching uranium for nuclear fuel or weapons. It is far less radioactive than enriched uranium, but extremely dense and effective as a projectile. It can also cause fire and damage to the environment when it hits a target. Russia condemned the U.S. move as a provocation and a violation of international law. Moscow accused Washington of escalating the conflict in eastern Ukraine, where pro-Russian separatists have been fighting against the government since 2014. Russia also warned that it would take countermeasures to protect its security and interests. The U.S. said it was providing the weapons to help Ukraine defend its sovereignty and territorial integrity. It also said it was committed to finding a peaceful solution to the crisis through diplomatic means. The U.S. urged Russia to respect the 2015 Minsk agreements, which called for a ceasefire and a political settlement in eastern Ukraine. The U.S. decision comes amid rising tensions between the two countries over a range of issues, including cyber attacks, human rights, and the Nord Stream 2 pipeline project. The U.S. and its allies have also expressed concern over Russia's military buildup near the Ukrainian border and in Crimea, which Russia annexed in 2014. That's all for today's news update. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates.